It's not gonna be like it's stable be at all. Drops out of it by the time you get inside. All right, we're here at Grand Park. This is as far as around as I can turn. But uh, yeah, hope you guys are excited for an indoor fly-in. <laughs> So while we're out here at Grand Park, one of the things that I want to kind of talk about that I'm super excited about the DJI system, the digital FPV, is its ability to handle multipathing. This place here, Grand Park, is one of the, probably the worst multipathing environments that I've ever flown in. Uh, I was here about probably a year ago when we filmed some stuff for the Indianapolis Alley Cats. We were chasing ultimate Frisbee, Frisbees through the air and, you know, and building content around that. <coughs> I could barely fly on analog, and at the time I was using a Clearview module, which at that time had been the best thing that was handling like RF multipathing environments. So I've brought a rapid fire on my HDOs, and I got the DJI digital FPV system, and I'm just gonna show you kind of the difference in the flying experience between the two, and I think you're gonna be pretty surprised with how well this does versus traditional analog. Now the only reason that I bring this up is because I'm super excited about the use of these DJI systems for um, mostly for professional work, professional and freestyle and maybe kind of exploration. Um, these do so well in high multipathing environments, places where you would often need to be able to film that not having these in your toolkit as compared to just traditional analog can kind of become a hindrance. Um, there's systems in which analog is gonna be better, there's places in which the DJI digital FPV system is gonna be better, but having both in your toolkit I think is gonna be very important heading into the future. So I hope that the, the demonstration of digital versus analog footage here at Grand Park kind of shows you why I consider having both of these different systems in my toolkit at the same time. Okay, so the first step is gonna be on traditional analog. We've got uh, two right-hand circular polarized TrueRC um, matchstick antennas, two are my favorite, um, as well as a right-hand circular polarized Axie Stubby. Um, 
great analog setup, TBS Unify, running it on 25 milliwatts, which is the best situation to run here inside of Grand Park um, because we don't want to be overpowering and sending multi-path thing bouncing around through in here. So we're going to take off. We'll let you see what happens with analog. So I pretty much scrolled and I pretty much fully lost it there at the other end. Got a lock again. Heading back out. Losing it again. Scroll. No lock. And lock back. So I mean like right here around me is not so bad. Oh. Yeah, it's not the worst in the world. I've had worse, I've had better. But it's definitely not fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and land this because I'm like sketched out even hardly. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> definitely hit the tripod there. So like you know, I'm not even making it halfway across here before I'm pretty much losing video entirely. It's losing its lock. I'm not sure if it's in the right mode or not. Truth be told, I haven't used rapid fires too much. Um, but so now let's switch over to the DJI system and I think we'll see a pretty stark difference. Okay, so now we're gonna switch over to the DJI system. This is a Super G with standard DJI antennas, but I've got the LHCP uh, True RC antennas on there. No patches or anything, um, but we're just gonna fly this same area and give you kind of a sense of what the difference is between the two. No breakup whatsoever. I'm in the exact opposite corner. No breakup at all. 25 milliseconds still. No breakup. Remember, what you're seeing is just DVR from the DJI, like that's it. No other information. Pretty absurd. But yeah, no problem. And, uh, I can't do it right now because that guy's watching, but like I flew all the way down to the other end of this entire place and had perfectly crystal clear video all the way throughout. So, yeah. <clears throat> so I'm not trying to say that one thing is better than the other. Um, I do recognize that they different have, have different, you know, gives and takes over one another. And especially in an environment like this, where multipathing is definitely your enemy, <clears throat> it's, it, it, it's a must to have something like this in your toolkit to be able to tackle environments that, uh, you know, create this 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 trouble right so if i was asked to come here and film a soccer game or whatever you know whatever whatever is going on you know i can't i almost can't do it on analog but with this i have better video than i've i could imagine so you know you just got to find that balance between when one tool suits one job or the other and for here at this place i think that this is the right tool for the job Hope this was interesting. Hope this uh, that you learned a little bit about the differences between DJI and analog and how they handle multipathing. And I hope that in the meantime, you stay flying.